What's happening, fam? LA All Movement Still Moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also to ask me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. But this video, this video is entitled Gambling with Stupidity. And what I mean by gambling with stupidity, I mean doing stupid things hoping that isn't with the idea that you know it can't happen to you, like the fallout can't happen to you. So I see the situation with D'Angelo Russell uh, going to the airport with a with a with a canister with the, the weed compartment and getting caught. You know, and I thought to myself, you just you just you just like being stupid. You just like playing the game of let's see, I'm stupid, but I can get away with it today. Here's the problem with that. If you're a millionaire, first of all, if you're a professional athlete, you forgot, you know, that's what happened to Michael Vick right before the dog fighting thing. He tried to go and he had the, the weed hidden in the in the canister thing and it didn't work at the airport. You forgot about that? Yeah, you did. Because you gambling with stupid. Like, everybody does it, so I could do it too. Now, the second part about gambling with stupidity is, since everybody does it and you could do it too, you're going to go to an airport that that, that type of heat, not only could get you arrested to get you a felony, it could also get you federal time. Because you gambling with stupidity, right? And, and since you're a millionaire, you got enough money, you could have just got a private jet. And you wouldn't have that problem. But you want to gamble with being stupid. I'm, I'm saying, let me see if I can get in and get out because the weed is so much. Like, like you can't buy weed where you're going. The weed heads all their potheads all over America. Their weed dealers all over America. Like you just can't couldn't go where you was going and, and buy some there. Or like you didn't know people. No, you you did, but you just wanted to gamble with stupidity. Right? And you know, I was talking and, and the reason I'm talking about this because the other situations. Uh so many people say they came up in the hood, and I don't believe some of y'all because of the stupid stuff y'all do. Like, you know, if you're one of those people who you leave your car running, like it won't get stolen. Like you know, you do realize, you know, for people, for y'all people, if 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 your car gets stolen and it was running, say the key was in it or it's unlocked, the roll down and and it's and, and it's going, and somebody takes it, the insurance company is not going to cover that because they're going to be like you were stupid, you were complicit, you know. In, in this stuff, like you just had a big old sign, come take my stuff, but you gotta gamble with stupid. Yeah, I do this all the time, nothing gonna happen to me. Okay, so you just wanna gamble with stupid until something happens. No problem, no problem. You know, this is what I mean by gambling with stupidity, right? You know, uh, same thing, like I, I, I don't like, you know, I, I remember I, I get all my family members they would come to my house and they open up all the blinds I just want light I just want to see everything you just want the whole neighborhood to see everything so if I get robbed because you just want light what you gonna do oh I'm sorry I ain't think because let me tell you something this is what I mean by gambling with stupidity you know when you let the neighborhood see, see what's in your house and they break in your house and steal it because you want to do certain things you're gambling with stupidity you know, me personally, I'll shoot you even if you're my family if you do something like that. Because, you know, it's not your stuff that got stole. And this is the other thing about gambling with stupidity. When, you know, a lot of people are disrespectful with other people's property and then very respectful with their own. You gambling with stupidity when you can go around messing with other people's stuff or treating other people's stuff like it's your stuff and you might mess around and break it. Because you don't, you don't know, you, you it's not yours, so you're really not trying to maintain it. You're just trying to use somebody else's stuff to get your way, even if it doesn't work that way. And you gambling, well, if it, you know, I ain't, I ain't destroyed. I got what I wanted. Like y'all don't understand how many people uh, have uh, ruined other people's stuff and walked away, and it came back like it was all good. It's not all good. You know, you. I don't know why we fell out. I'm sure you don't. Like, um, because at some point, you, what you're gambling with is the is, is the idea that they won't kick your ass. 
that's what you're gambling with, you know, just gambling with stupidity. Like, you know, if I can, if I can, you know, I like it a certain, like me, I was, I was clowning with my mother about this today, you know, because people have this habit of doing this, you know, you destroy other people's stuff on purpose. Like a lot of you people who don't, who, who, um, may not understand this. Like some of you people who, who have rental properties and some of the people who you rent to see some of y'all put, put people, put renters in a bad position because sometimes y'all break stuff on purpose or y'all wear stuff down on purpose because you don't like it, but it's really not your stuff. You just rent in that space. And they're trying to figure out, did you actually break it? And here's a telltale sign. You break something, they replace it, and, uh, but they actually keep the item that was, that was quote-unquote broken and fix it. And, it. and it still works for years and years and years with them. But see, you didn't know that they kept it and fixed it. But it works with them, but now all of a sudden, it, the new thing that works is just fine with you because you, you need new stuff. People like you never have anything. Because you spend so much time wanting everything to be uh, so catered to you that you don't take care of nothing. Nothing. You don't know how to maintain stuff. That's why you always want new stuff because you always fuck up stuff. And you gambling with stupidity because when it's time, f when it's your stuff, you start learning because all of a sudden when you got to pay for it, oh, oh, that's why they was doing that. Yeah, you jackass. That's why they was doing it like that. Yeah, you know, gambling with stupidity, right? Let me go back with us a little bit. You know, some of you cats who, you know, I'm in the streets, you gambling with stupidity. You know, I mean, the people I used to know back in the day didn't have no lawyer money. How you in the streets with no lawyer money? You just gambling with stupidity, right? Ain't nothing gonna happen. I ain't gonna never get caught. Oh, okay. Now you winding up, you know, with a district attorney. <laughs> That everybody got, you know what I'm saying? And oh, you you know what? I should think I think you should take this 49 years. Yes, yeah, good deal. Ah, I got another case in 13 minutes. So come on, come on, just sign over, sign over your life, buddy. Oh yeah, you gambling with stupidity, you know? Oh, I'm a, you know I, I I can, you know I can rob as many people as I want. Ain't nothing ha gonna happen to me. Oh okay. I'm gonna get a name in these streets for doing dirt and. People gonna respect me. Oh, that's what they gonna do? Oh, so they're not just they're not gonna that's not gonna put a target on your back? Nah, they ain't gonna put a target. Oh, okay. No problem, no problem. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today. He was such a good man. Yeah, whatever. You know, some people are gambling with stupidity, you know, sexually. I just like the feel I don't like condoms. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What happened? I don't wanna talk about it. Oh, uh -uh, you don't? I know people with, you know, too many kids that their, their life will never be in order. And, and, you know, the crazy part about it is we make fun of the people with a bunch of kids, but we don't make, but the people who, who caught something, they seem to be so quiet. You notice that? See, everybody, like, he, he got 13 kids. He do. What did he get? What, what, what does he have, though? She got five, six kids. I see that. What, did she catch anything? But see, some of y'all don't have kids and y'all got, y'all got STDs like a mother. Cause you was gambling with stupidity, you know. They look straight, and I'm straight. We straight. I just, I, cause I just don't like the, I don't like how it feel. Okay, no problem, no problem. Mm-hmm. It's burning. I bet it is. Um, but that's the thing about gambling with stupidity. You know, the other thing about that is this. This is a true story that happened a long time ago. You know, you got your college refund check and you went to the casino. I'ma double it. Nah, that, that didn't kind of work out. Nah, that, that didn't work out too well. You know, because you was gambling with stupidity. You felt like, you know, hey, it is what it is, right? I got it, I got it, I got it. Nah, you don't got it. See, some of y'all, y'all think, you know, Y'all the king of craps. Y'all the king of poker. Y'all the king of spades. You really got a gambling problem, and you stupid because you keep losing money over and over and over again. And one day I'ma hit, and it's gonna, hi one day. 
First of all, you ain't got the money to keep losing like that. If you got the money to lose, fine. But you don't. You losing your money for necessities. Because you gambling with stupidity. One day I'm going to come up. No, you're not. You're you going to come up on nothing like you keep coming up on nothing. But, you know, I'm done, man. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. We out. Peace.